The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLA, achieved significant milestone in its operations. The agency made 1,821 arrests, out of which 1,640 males and 181 females. They also seized 142,291.3 kilograms of various drugs. NDLA charged 415 suspects, securing 414 convictions and asset forfeitures, and destroyed 49.63 hectares of cannabis farms. In drug demand reduction, 949 individuals were treated and rehabilitated, and 330 public enlightenment activities were conducted. Notably, two major drug barons were apprehended, Al Haji Suleiman Jimo, alias Olua, uh, alias Oloi Diogede, known as Temu, was arrested in Mushi, Lagos, and Al Haji Suleiman Ganiu Aremu was detained for cocaine, for cocaine trafficking in Saudi Arabia. Additionally, 280,389,068 Naira 8 Kobo was recovered from forfeited assets and a workshop was held to bolster the alternative development program. Efforts to combat human trafficking. In August 2024, the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Person, NAPTIP, advanced its mission through a 5P approach. Prevention, protection, prosecution, partnership, and policy. For prevention, NAPTIP intensified awareness campaign by deploying officers to schools and markets and observed the 2024 World Day Against Trafficking in person with nationwide sensitization activities, including radio programs and town hall meetings. Despite court recess, NAPTIP pursued several human trafficking cases notably prosecuting a high-profile organ harvesting case involving Alliance Hospital in Abuja. In protection efforts, the agency managed over 150 big victims through its 13 shelters, offering counseling, rehabilitation, and educational opportunities. NAPTIP also strengthened partnership with organizations like the U.S. Embassy, British High Commission, and UNODC which supported its operations financially. The Nigeria Immigration Service, NIS, advanced its capabilities with the near completion of the NIS technology complex, featuring cutting-edge facilities and e-border solutions. The new visa policy facilitated 8,352 visas on arrival, Anti-smuggling effort led to 97 traffic victims being intercepted, with 87 cases handed over to NAPTIP and 10 reunifications. The NIS also launched an anti-corruption campaign, conducted workshops at five international airports, and upgraded its country signing certificate authority, CSCA, and public key infrastructure PKI to meet ICAO standards. Additionally, NIS collaborated with the Netherlands on horsemanship training and eased out 61 foreign nationals to address irregular migration. Protection of critical national assets and infrastructure. The Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, NSCDC, during the period under review engaged in several strategic activities and achieved significant milestones. Key activities included the deployment of personnel to safeguard critical national assets and infrastructure. During the 10-day end bad governance protests, strategic nationwide mobilization and intensified surveillance of mining sites. The Corps effectively managed the protests, preventing extensive CNAI damage and dispersing violent protesters. 
Notably, 141 suspected hoodlums were apprehended during the protests in Kano, with 104 of them being minors released on bail, while 37 faced prosecutions, out of which 21 were convicted. And 16 pleaded not guilty. Additionally, the NSCDC Special Intelligence Squad, CG's SIS, uncovered a major illegal operation at Odago Creek in HA local government area, River State. The squad discovered a, clan, a clandestine talking point used for shipping crude oil and dismantled multiple massive reservoirs and packaged nylons filled with stolen crude. This operation was part of the cross border efforts to combat oil theft and ensure the security of the nation's petroleum resources.